Hey guys, this is your friend, Call Tactic, and today I'm going to be doing a little unboxing on Boss Monster 2. Well, this is one of those deck building games, and it's one that I got into uh, not too long ago. This is the expansion to the original game, and this is a limited edition, meaning that it comes with... You want a box here. It comes with special limited edition featuring hollow foil boss cards. And this is a special edition cover. Looks like Super Mario Brothers 2. And this is a deck building game that's inspired by retro video games. Like on the NES, you know. And yeah, let me get this thing to focus. Yeah, yeah, you can see that these bosses represent bosses from like... Those old games like Castlevania, Legend of Zelda, um, Metroid, or even Super Mario. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I get it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> it's not easy doing everything with one hand. I put the camera down, but <laughs> I just want to have the excitement of opening this box. So, limited edition cover. Yep, and there's the game. See? And, uh, there's also on the back of this box and it says become a video game style villain build a deadly dungeon and crush puny heroes in this retro inspired tabletop game ah includes 160 cars to play total and it's a standalone game meaning that you don't really need the first game to play this but it's heavily recommended this can be played with uh, between two to four players. I'm sure if you combine both the decks with each other and the and the bosses, it can be b between like two to six players. All right, instruction booklet. I already know how to kind of play, so I don't need that. Oh, here's the here's the deck that contains. The bosses, the heroes, and the, the spell cards. And then here's a deck that contains the room, all oh, the room cards. And here's a deck that contains the, the bosses. Ooh. Yeah, hang on a minute. I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up these card packages. Or these card packets. I'm going to open up the room deck first. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Come on. Open. Okay. All right. All right, here's the room deck. You can see there. Oh, that's a new one. Save point. Curse tomb. Hatchlings horde. Oh, these are these are brand new right here. Brand spanking new. All these room cards in here. There's one called... Yeah. There's one called Bone Factory. Or... Bomb Boy Factory. Focus. Hmm. Very interesting. 
No, oh, sorry. Yeah, very interesting. So, there's the room deck. I just, I didn't want to go through the whole deck. I just wanted to see what was new. Especially, no, I, I think that one's old. Goblin Nursery, I think that one's new. So, yeah, there's the room. Room pile. Now, next thing I'm going to open up is the boss. Boss cards, I should say. Yeah, this is a good game to play. At work, if you have a lot of downtime. <laughs> the brothers? You can already tell what that is. Mm. Oh, it's a hero. An epic hero. Okay, we got the brothers. Oh, Eclipse. Looks like we have a dragon type of boss. And we got Angus Angstigoff. Looks like he could be a Dracula type of boss. And we got Porkus, who looks like a mix between Ganon and um, Bowser. And we got Nicolius, which I don't know, looks like a, looks like a wizard and dragon. Or a dragon wizard. <laughs> Who's next? Dr. Timebender. Definitely a wizard. Next. Kazana. Looks like a, looks like he, they could be a genie. Next is Smoke. <laughs> it's a dragon. Next one is Zelda. <laughs> Just spin off of Zelda. Next one is Kilo, which looks like a, I don't know, some retarded looking gorilla. Next one, Torex Uzkali. Mm, uh, looks like an undead dragon. Next one is Belladonna. Looks like a sorceress. And next one we have here is Doc Scarecrow. Who's apparently a Grim Reaper like boss. And our last one is perhaps the most powerful of them all. His name's Miramax. And he's a badass dragon. <laughs> so there's our epic hero. And there's our bosses that we get with this one. So anyway, let's go ahead and put these back. I'm not going to explain how to play the game. This is just an unboxing. Now, last but not least, we're going to go ahead and unbox the, or unwrap the deck. The other deck, I should say. Let's take a look at the Epic Heroes. Okay. My brothers. Eve. So, uh, these are pretty much the same, same heroes. However, there's different designs on them. And some of them look like they're from, like, fighting games and some of them look like they're from those adventure games that we used to play as little kids well it looks like the toughest one that's going to be hard to beat is the brothers because the brothers 
they have 20 hit points. And you're going to need to use your cunning skill in order to defeat the brothers. All right. Now let's take a look at the next row. Oh, these are boss cards right here. Interesting. Oh, these are the non hollow foil ones. Yeah, have a look. Yeah, these are all non hollow foil. Interesting. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put the. Already had a look at the bosses. Let's see if there's any new spells in here. Sorry, I should have uh, recorded this in landscape mode. Wild monster, wild monster. Undead minion. Surprise gift. Uh, that one looks like it could be useful. Surprise gift. Super effective. That one can also look like it could be useful. Shortcut. Secret stash. Pause. Party up. Uh huh. Yeah, this 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 looks like it could be like. Yeah, this look this this uh these spell cards look like they could be more useful than like the other than like the previous because uh the previous one previous game. I don't know, the previous game had had spell cards that were like, uh, yeah, I think, uh, actually, I'm going to have to take a look at what these spell cards do when if I ever get a chance to play this. Here, I'm going to put my hollow foils on the bottom because I don't want them to get wrecked, you know. I'm going to put them on the bottom of this. Okay, last but not least, let's take a look at the heroes. The standard heroes. The Fool. Doesn't look like he's changed. Thief. Hit. Hitman. Oh my god. I wonder what the Hitman goes after. Oh boy. Once per turn, any opponent may discard a room with treasure to give his hero plus three until end of turn. Oh, oh we're going to be in trouble there. Mage, fighter. We also have barbarian. That's a new one. Vampire? Yeah. Any opponent? Okay, is there anybody other than the mage? Which? Once per turn, any opponent may discard a room with Magic to give this hero a plus three. So basically, you can any pl opponent who has that amount of uh, valuables, they could, yeah, you know, they could put, they could just pretty much uh, steroid. They can just pretty much steroid the the hero and. The hero will be harder to take down once uh, it's in play. Anyhow, yeah, the entire object of the game is to basically build your dungeon so you can demolish each hero that comes into your dungeon. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like if you... If you want to see more videos from me, feel free to subscribe below. Otherwise, please enjoy your games, and I will see you later.
Thank you.